Here we have the skull of a red fox. This specimen is missing some of its teeth, but the ones that remain include these long canines and slicing molar teeth. You can see how closely these meet, acting like a pair of scissor blades to slice through food. This large pair of scissor-like teeth are called the carnassials and are a feature of the carnivora, the big group of mammals to which foxes belong. Within the carnivora, the fox is part of the dog family. The skull looks quite similar to something like a wolf, but is smaller and sleeker, a little more slender. I think it's a very elegant little skull. Looking at the side, you can see the eye socket is open at the back and meets the space behind the cheekbone where a lot of the jaw closing muscles go. The eyes of a fox, like those of a dog or cat, point forwards. This means that the field of vision from each eye overlaps in the middle and makes it easier to judge how far away something is. Now to the back of the skull. This large hole in the middle is the foramen magnum. It's where the spinal cord goes into the space for the brain. And this space for the brain is quite big when we compare it to something like a turtle or a crocodile. You can see where the backbone attaches on these two lumps of bone on either side of the foramen magnum. And these swellings on the underneath of the skull at the back, these are called the auditory bully. They hold the hearing apparatus. When we think of the ears of foxes, you may think of the big triangular outer ear. This channels the sound into this hole here. The outer ear is missing from this specimen as it's made out of cartilage, not bone. So there we have a few features of a beautiful fox skull.